Sunday night is my delight and pleasure, don't you see? Meeting all the girls and all the boys that work When was the London Roundhouse built? This seems like an easy question, but the more we look into the history of this building, the less clear it becomes. Despite its long history in London, and its significance as being only one of a handful of railway roundhouses in southern Ontario, very little is known about the origins of this building. It's not clear when exactly the London Roundhouse was built, and after spending some time in different archives around the city, and speaking with different local historians, I'm even less clear now about its origins than when I started. Let's examine the earliest date proposed for the building. In his 2013 book, Rails Across Ontario, Exploring Ontario's Railway Heritage, historian Ron Brown states that the London Roundhouse was built in the 1860s for the Great Western Railway. This is the earliest proposed date for the construction of the London Roundhouse. In a fire insurance map composed in 1881, but then later revised in 1888, it lists the roundhouse as being owned by the Michigan Central Railway. Since the MCR was given rights to run trains in London in 1886, five years later, it seems unlikely that they would have built a roundhouse five years before they started running trains. This discrepancy likely comes from the fact that the 1881 fire insurance plan was revised in 1888. An 1882 fire plan shows that the roundhouse was listed as being owned by the MCR, but the MCR has been crossed out and written over with Cantilano and Sansone Fruit Company as the owners of the building. Um, and it's true that the Cantilano and Sansone Fruit Company did occupy the building for a number of decades, but this predates that record by about 20 years. Most historians agree that the Cantilano and Sansone Fruit Company moved into the London Roundhouse in the late 1910s. City leasing records show a number of different tenants in the building between 1880 and 1920, including the MCR, the City Fuel Company, the Hunt Brothers, and the BSM City Scavenger Depot. And a number of these occupancies even overlap. If you want to see a more in-depth look at this overlap and speculate to some of the reasons why, please visit our Facebook page where we hold all this information in more detail. Now, who built the the London Roundhouse, and who were its earliest occupants? There's no easy answer to these questions. Searches in the Central Library's London Room and the Western Ark has produced material that only creates new questions. Now, I want to hear from you, dear listener. What do you think of this information? Do you have any pieces for this puzzle? Can you make everything make sense? And if you can, comment on this video or have a look at our Facebook page. We'd love to hear your thoughts.